Excuse me. Are you kidding me? What do you mean? I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this is Pocket Plants. This is a mobile farming slash uh, kind of an idle game where you can uh, plant a bunch of plants, surprisingly. Uh, I mostly download it because the plants are very cute, which is always a plus. So basically how this works is all of these worlds are kind of in peril, and they need plants to, um, you know... They all have they have industrial waste and everything around, so you got to plant and unlock new plants to uh, heal the worlds. So we combine plants, we unlock new plants. You use the plants to make even more new plants. You level up. Level up rewards are pretty sparse, honestly. Um, as you can see here, you can. Each plant has, you combine certain plants to get certain other plants. So now that we have this Momo, we can combine that with Pambo. And we can hopefully get a new plant. I, uh, I'm unfortunately recording from my phone since this game does not record right. It actually just straight up crashes constantly in my, um, in my Android emulator. So another aspect of this game is people will have every, you know, so many hours, there's these countdown timers. Um, these little people in the game will need certain plants, and you get rewards from that. And it has this nice little interface where you can just go in here and be like, yeah, I want one of those, one of those, one of those. And then you just submit them. Plants take a little bit of time to grow, it depends on which plant. Foucault needs a lot of time to grow. Hi Parker, yes. That's my phone, please don't eat it. Yeah, I don't know why this game even is having trouble just being recorded on my normal phone. I hope this turns out okay. I usually use an Android emulator, but uh, yeah, this, this game doesn't like it. You can also get these super plants by having a little duders go out there and explore. And super plants, they're just super. Come on. This game is a little slow. It's It's... Every idle game seems to use a lot of battery, and this is no exception. So super plants, you unlock pieces of by having people go on explorations, and they, they just generate more energy, or they generate amethysts, or even rubies. Amethysts and rubies are kind of the extra currencies. I was a little scared initially, because there's three currencies, and that's, you know, two currencies is a warning sign, three is, ooh. But uh, energy is basically free at the top there. Amethysts are really your, you know, progress gate. You need a few hundred amethysts to eat, to do each merge at the point I'm at. Um, the app usually isn't this jumpy, it's because I'm recording. Um, rubies are your, you know, paid premium thing. You can use them to speed everything in the game up. Don't, it's a waste of them. You can also unlock more people to go and explore for super plants, which is what I save all my rubies for. This game has a friend system as well, and if you want to add me, uh, where can I find my friend thing? I don't think it's in this menu. Um, but yeah, your friends can help you. Basically, you your friend orders work just like your other orders. Move out of the way. There we go. And your friends can uh, send you plants. I guess I don't have that timer up yet. You can send your own, your friends plants, so they get uh, they get some rubies. I get like I think I get like six rubies and fifteen amethyst. It's not too bad. Um, I wouldn't really say this game is pay to win, mostly because if we go here to this little amethyst tower, um, you can pay eight bucks for this, and it gives you a hundred amethyst per day. What's funny is it's not actually that much. Um, 
because I get about, I would estimate maybe 400 rubies per day because of the orders. Um, and so it's not amazing. Also, when you complete orders, you can get these little flasks, which upgrade things. There's lots of, like any good idle game, there's lots of upgrade vectors. Um, so you just open these flasks and you get little bonuses like more energy from orders. I really hope this recording comes out right. This game does not like being recorded. I do enjoy it, and it's a really good game to like... Um, I would say the amount of time it takes to manage everything in one go. Um, you can do it in a bathroom break, which I think is pretty much perfect amount of time for mobile game management. Um, you just check in maybe for like not even five minutes every couple hours, and you, you grow some cute plants. And that's kind of the main draw of it. There's a whole bunch of different worlds. I've been playing for, what, maybe two weeks? And I've got, I think, come on, five? Yeah, five worlds. There's ten worlds total. And you have to complete the prior worlds. You have to unlock all the plants to get the next ones. So I'm a ways off, but there's also ice worlds. Look at the little, look at the little mountain. Look at that happy friend. There's a music realm. Candyland. Everybody likes Candyland. Fire Realm. The, the, the hills don't seem to be having a good time in Fire Realm. And Witch Garden, which seems to be the last one for now. So, alright, the friend system. Ah, oh, so laggy. Like I said, it's because I'm recording. So if you want to add me in the game as a friend, you can just add that code there. The M, N, K, Q, all that stuff. Uh, this game also has cloud saves. I don't... Honestly, I kind of hope to never, like, make a video for a game that doesn't have cloud saves on mobile, because I, I've lost... I had a phone die, and, like, if your game didn't respect my save data enough to save it in the cloud, like, you know, I, I'm just gonna abandon it if I lose my save data. That just sucks. But yeah, this game has cloud saves. You can cloud save from Google, from Congregate, or from Facebook, which is nice to have options. But yeah, the way friends work, you can just add people on there, and uh, they complete your orders. Even just having a few friends, as long as they're the same level as you, um, they'll usually complete it real fast. Because you get a benefit for helping your friends too. I can get some, you know, I could send them a Pambo. It's a good old beeple there. I have no idea who these people are. Um, honestly, I found some. I just looked on Twitter and added people to the game. You don't need any private data by, you know, adding people in this game. It's just, you know, to help. Help out your stuff. Ugh, I keep misclicking because it's laggy. I don't know why mobile recording has to be so difficult, but it does. And that's why I'm, if my mic sounds bad, it's because I'm recording direct from my phone. Uh, couldn't avoid it this time. But yeah, that's pretty much Pocket Plants. Um, it does get a little slow where I'm at, but it's not really a big deal because it only takes a few minutes to check in. And I, I check in maybe four or five times a day. Uh, at most, really. Uh, then I, you know, do my orders, I check my lab, upgrade my stuff, and continue on your merry way. It's a good game to play with, you know, other games. It's, like I said, it's a good it's a good bathroom break, good board at a bus stop kind of game. Oh, and we have another thing. Parker! Parker, please. Making this difficult. Uh, we have another plant ready to unlock. Oh, <laughs> crap, already? So, yeah, that's kind of... That's about a day's worth of amethysts, I would estimate. So, it, progress is a little slow at this point, but it hasn't completely stopped. Oh, that's a high-level plant, actually. So yeah, when you create plants, there's up to three tiers for, like, rarity. So, like, I got the super rare plant. Um, I actually meant to get the sort of rare plants. So... So, I actually kind of... It's good that I have that, but... I'm not... No. Why must you lag? I'm gonna store that in my storage. Parker, would you calm down? Yes, I know. Hello. Thank you. Yeah, I just need to try again to get that new plant. And there's 16 plants for each area. Like I said, I really like the design of this game. Like, visually. And, uh... It's not really too... It is slow, but it doesn't feel pay-to-win. I don't feel disadvantaged because I haven't paid. And it doesn't really super shove ads down your throat. You can watch ads to get rubies, which aren't really very critical. Um, it's definitely a little slow. 
but you've got fur in your mouth. Hold on. Ew. Sorry, my cat is eating his own fur. There you go. No, I just took that out of your mouth. Calm down. Okay, I have to throw this away. So, cats are great. Um, but yeah, that's pocket plants.